All right, for this one, I have uh, something rather special, and I'm just going to read one of my favorite texts from Francois Laruelle. Uh, he's a really uh, incredible French writer, and this is a text from the 80s of his, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. It is called On the Black Universe in the Human Foundations of Color. In the Foundations of Color, vision sees the universe. In the foundations of the universe, it sees man. In the foundations of man, it sees vision. The earth, the world, the universe have to do with man. The earth a little, the world a lot, the universe passionately. The universe is the inner passion for the remote. Man works the earth lives in the world, thinks according to the universe. The earth is man's ground, the world his neighbor, the universe his secret. The earth is the strait through which passes the light of the world. It is the tongue made of sand and water upon which, standing, man strides against the world. The world is everything too vast and too narrow for the earth, and again too narrow for the universe. Man gropes around the world, and the world floats in the universe, unable to touch its borders. Into the world of narrow-minded thoughts, man brings the emotion of the universe. The universe, an object greater than the world, is not the object of thought, but rather its how, or its according to. The universe is an opaque and solitary thought which has already leapt through man's shut eyes as the space of a dream without dreaming. The universe is not reflected in another universe, and yet the remote is accessible to us at each of its points. The world is the endless confusion of man and universe, the universe treated as man's object. The forgetting of the essence of the universe is less noticeable than the forgetting of the world. The forgetting of man as one of the universe, and the universe as one through man, is less noticeable than the forgetting of being in the world. 2. In the beginning, there is black, man and universe, rather than philosopher and world. Surrounding the philosopher, everything becomes world and light. Surrounding man, everything becomes universe and opacity. Man who carries away the universe with him is condemned without knowing why to the world and to the earth, and neither the world nor the earth can tell him why. He is answered only by the universe being black and mute. Black is not in the object of the world. It is what man sees in man, and the way in which man sees man. Black is not merely what man sees in man. It is the only color Quote, unquote, inseparable from the hyperintelligible expanse of the universe. Solitude of the man without horizon who sees black in black. The universe is deaf and blind. We can only love it and assist it. Man is the being who assists the universe. Only with eyes closed can we unfold the future, and with eyes opened can we conceive to enter it. Light strikes the earth with repeated blows, divides the world infinitely, solicits in vain the visible universe. The universe was in the world, and the world did not see it. And I'm going to stop right now, um, just for this, this week. I'm going to kind of keep it, uh, keep it at that. But, you know, La Ruelle is a really interesting philosopher. He's someone who didn't know human design, who's not connected to human design, who's not really connected to mysticism, and yet it's so mystical. I mean... I'm curious to hear what um, those of you in human design think about this. And actually, I'd like to read the second half next week. I think partly it's a good idea to, to finish this week, um, just because it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. It's very poetic, and uh, it's it's very rich language. And I would like to just kind of do these things in small enough um, chunks that people can discuss them. So, you know. He's he's talking about such such a deep thing and such a light 
strikes the earth with repeated blows, divides the world infinitely, solicits in vain the invisible universe. It's like the universe is this kind of Old Testament God that's eternally unknowable to us. It's almost like a, you know, why, why won't you, why won't you talk to me, universe? But in any case, uh, when we resume for the next episode, I'd like to finish reading this and then pick back up where we left off on Jan van Denberg's Crash Course in Stars. I just thought this would be a fun interlude into non-human design, but kind of human design adjacent uh, materials. And I'm a huge fan of Lauer Well, so I'd love to hear what, what others think of him as well.